My name is Simon Werritt and I'm an Associate Professor in the Department of History at the University of Washington in Seattle and I'm a historian of science and I work on the history of the physical sciences in the 17th and 18th centuries. My research topic at the Rachel Carson Centre is the history of what I'm calling recycling practices in early modern science. That means uh, practices of preserving, repairing and reusing materials, apparatus, instruments in early modern experimental spaces, laboratories, in the 17th and 18th centuries. And I'm looking at Britain and North America primarily um, as a way to get at this. What I'm trying to do is to think about science as a practical activity rather than just a theoretical activity. So lots of history of science is about the history of theories and ideas. What I'm interested in is looking at the places where science was done and the everyday practices of science. And also I'm not so much interested in innovation in the way that science was produced as the day-to-day -day activities of natural philosophers as they were known in the 17th and 18th century and the way that they stewarded materials in their scientific practice. So how did they relate to material objects, uh, substances in the laboratory, and how did they use materials in their everyday practice? Well, one of the things I'm interested in is that given natural philosophers in the past were careful with materials and didn't um, and, and use them to, the, to their best um, advantage, what were the motivations for doing that? Why did people recycle uh, in the laboratory and there are various ways that you can answer that but one of them would be to look at the idea of thrift or frugality in the early modern period and this is a very complicated term that meant many different things to different people but essentially it's the idea of trying to save and be avoid excess uh, and that can either be in monetary terms so trying to avoid expense uh, spending too much money try to save money, or it could be a moral sense uh, of just avoiding being extravagant. And I think that um, one sees this um, value, again, being imported into natural philosophy, uh, and um, it shapes the way that people approach materials in the laboratory. One of the motivations for my work is to look at past practices of recycling as a way to think about present practice in the sciences. So there is some talk now of trying to develop a, what's called a sustainable science and there are websites that you can go to to find out best practices for your laboratory. And it turns out that a lot of those practices are quite similar to the ones that were undertaken in early modern laboratories. The way that people stewarded and looked after their materials, exchanged them with friends when they didn't need them, avoided throwing them away and so on. So hopefully this project will also be of benefit to people who are thinking about sustainable creating a sustainable science in the present because they can look back and see how scientists, natural philosophers did the same kinds of things or address the same kinds of issues in the past.